Today, we're gonna be bringing a VX scan. Now, if you're not familiar with these tools, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit. Um, what this tool is does, it finds a lot of electrical breaks, not only electrical, but also category six and category five that I was able to use it with. So we're gonna, little, we're gonna go in depth a little bit on how to use this device. Not only that, we're actually gonna take a look at it and test it out too. So one thing I noticed in here, they actually give you the nine volt batteries. They give you two. They're generic, but they include them in there. So you don't have to go out there and purchase them. Of course, these two devices take the actual nine volts. The great thing about it is they give you some headsets here too, because this thing's a lot, a lot noisy. And not only that, if you're in a construction area, you need to be concentrating on the actual activity that you're gonna be working with. So if you're locating a, a break on the line and there's a lot of uh, moving parts all over you, this is a great, great addition to this system because not a lot of people understand that if you work in the construction field, you're gonna pretty much tone, be tone deaf to the actual sound. You're gonna hear everything else. So this is a great item that they include in here. This is a plus, this is a plus. It, it might not be sound like a lot, but when you actually see it and you're actually in the construction field in the area, this is pretty good. Now, they give you the, the actual device that actually locates the brakes and the electrical currents, of course. Um, they also include a flashlight in here. If you guys notice, we're gonna turn it on right now, just for a bit. And we're gonna turn on the flashlight. It's a little LED light, but it comes in handy. I like that they do that. And there, there's actual an amount here that we're gonna actually set it up. Now, in order to work on it, you have to turn it on. And of course, you have to take out the screwdriver to add the nine volt battery before prior to doing that, right? So you do need a Phillips, a little tiny little Phillips to actually unscrew that and put the nine volt battery in there. Um, once you turn on the device, it stays on pretty much on one end. And the other end, this is the most important part, all right? This will have to go through the beginning of the electrical line and you have to turn it on, of course. And once you turn it on, you could do a fine or you could do the tone. So right now we don't have anything touching the system. So there's not going to be any noises right now. So um, you, if you hit this, it'll start beeping automatically. And of course, the signal gets closer as you get closer to the actual system. And this thing is loud. It is loud. Um, back. There's a volume control here in the top that I'm doing it right now. We're gonna turn it off for a bit. So there's two types of um, connection. It could be a static connection or you could do the tone connection, all right? Now, the great thing about it, they do have a belt clip here on this part right here. And if you notice, there is another accessory here. That's where you, this mount goes into there. You, there we go. So you can marry them together. Let me turn it off both of them. And you could lend this out as a one unit to somebody. But the great thing is that you don't have to do that. They give you a pouch where everything belongs. So we're going to put it to a test, a little run, a little test how to make you understand how it works. So basically, this thing automatically finds where there's a break in the line or it tells you if it's a good line. If it's underground, it could actually follow many feet underneath. And I'm going to put a little description how many feet it could go through. And on this device, you have to start with the actual connection, all right? This is the actual connection. And there is a volume control that you could go louder. And you can see it. It actually has this little um, detector here. The, the redder it gets, the closer you are or you're actually in the signal, right? The further you get away from it, it's going to start going to the lower end. Same as this device. They both identify. So one could be one individual could be on one area, the other one could be on the other one. So very good, easy to use device. Uh, not that much knowledge new need, needed to understand how it works. So we're gonna do a little demonstration here so you guys can understand a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Running the line. Prior to running the line, you gotta make sure you grip it in there, make sure that it's high already. If you guys notice it's on right now, and and you could find it as a toner. Away from it. I'm gonna do away from it. And if you guys notice the line, we're gonna get closer to the line. We're right in the line. Away from the line. That's in discovery mode. I'm gonna show you guys something. So we're doing a category six, a category five cable, all right? And set it up in here, and you can also find it. On cap five cable or cap six E. See that? So between walls or underground. It finds it on both ways. Not away from it, right there, or away from it. 
right on it. So away from it, on it. Be precise exactly where the actual cable's at. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.